Hi guys, yours truly Megan here. Welcome back to my channel and another installment of Fleet and Vintage Markets of the World. Let's go to Lisbon. We are visiting the Fiera da Ladra, located next to the National Pantheon in the heart of the Alfama district. Known as Break a Brac, basically meaning collection of small decorative objects, type of market similar to the Portobello market in London or the Marche Opus in Paris. It has existed since the 13th century and is the oldest in the city. It is open every Tuesday and Saturday and lasts until 5 or 6 p.m. and on the hottest days of summer only to 2 p.m. Of course, there are many vendors out in the open spanning all the grounds around the Pantheon, set up on tables or their goods just laid out on blankets on the ground but also stores that house larger antique pieces and this large warehouse-like building with many permanent shops. You will find everything at this market, from very old to new wares, many cafes and restaurants and great street musicians. You guys, just visualize the end of May, already very warm summer weather, but not too hot. All the palisander trees in bloom. Even as I was landing in Lisbon, you could see all these puffs of purple color throughout the city. Yes, the same palisander wood from which lots of art deco and mid-century furniture was made. Originating in Brazil and brought to Portugal in the 1600s. We decided to enjoy the walk from our hotel to the market. Enjoy!
Now for my haul. What did I buy? Well, first, this decanter, which I believe is Murano. I have seen a couple on first dibs, and when you consider that I only paid 30 euros for it, that was a steal. I just love the, the violet and the black and the nice genie bottle shape. Next, I bought this beautiful hand-painted pottery jar from the early 1900s, they told me, which I keep in my kitchen, sometimes on the kitchen table or on my antique pantry cabinet or on the counter. She travels all over the kitchen, but very gorgeous. You can even see, I don't know if you can see, I'll come a little bit closer all the cracks in the pottery and in the paint. Very old piece, very beautiful. Then I bought something new. This cute, delicate necklace here with the different geometric shapes. They reminded me of these earrings and bracelet that I have from one of my favorite little trinket shops in Paris. Yeah, and I just thought I could wear them together. Next are the most expensive things I bought, and that would be these two Portuguese milk glass bottles from the 1800s. They ran me about 150, 160 euros. I used them in my bathroom, one holds bath salts and the other bubble bath soap. And lastly, these secondhand glasses. Being a glasses where I enjoy having many different frames for different outfits and mood, and I always just buy old frames for 10, 15, 20 bucks, and then I have a vast variety of choices for a lot less money compared to buying new frames. You guys, when I looked at that picture, it's about a year ago, I was digging that old hair color I had. Should I do that again? Should I change my hair? You guys, let me know in the comments. Let me know down in the comments, okay? That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and stop back by for the next city, but you must turn on your notification bell so you won't miss it. And as always, yours truly, heart making. Bye. Now for my haul. What did I buy? Now I have to put all everything down here. Ugh, can't pick it up, it's so heavy. Ah. Uh,